Fair enough. I guess we're just gonna double back then. And I guess we'll play that shrine with the rest of my money. So he's got kind of a... Like one really kind of mindless abilities. The invincibility one. The debris shield. But then his Tesla coil and his grappling hook are pretty situational. So it's a little interesting. I probably really should not have picked up the boxing glove. It's not great with a melee character. Icicles. I love them, man. And they just stack and stack and stack. Whoa, took a lot of damage right there. So I was standing in fire, that's why. Let's not do that. Let's not stand in fire if I can help it. Okay, there's that shrine there. I'm going to be playing that a lot. Probably till it explodes with all the enemies that are left and all the money that I have. Okay, we're going to want a debris shield here. Or not debris shield, Tesla coil. Alright, taking a lot of damage here. Oh, never mind. That was them taking a lot of damage from the icicles. I misread the sound effects right there. That was actually <laughs> worked out really well for me. Every time I hit that shrine, whether I win or not, I'm going to get fireworks out of it. So that's kind of good. That was pretty glorious. What do we have here? <gasps> double jump! Yes! New item with gives you a double jump. I love it. And Mysterious Vial for some health regen. This is going swimmingly. Oh, I can't climb up there. Oh, but the difficulty's already at insane! Oh, that double jump! Like, the Merc comes with a kind of built-in double jump. Oh, there's monsters down below me, too. I think when fighting single monsters like that, it's good to grapple into them because you get that stun. But it's very tricky to use because when you're in the fray, when you're like... Like, I'll give you an example. Like, if I'm running towards a wall and I've got a bunch of monsters on my tail, my first thought is, oh, I'll use a grappling hook to grab the wall, right? And get me away from trouble. The problem is, if any of the monsters are even slightly in my hitbox, the grappling hook will hit the monster instead, and then I'm kind of boned. And I'm really not fast enough to always outrun monsters. I guess I should have waited for a monster to appear before firing off those fireworks. Let's check over here for the Twilight Porter first. Probably drop a Tesla coil over here, because it looks like this is going to be the big bridge level. There's a rando shrine there. That worked really, really well. I got a great use item, I gotta say. Especially for running. For running away from dudes, this use item cannot be beat. Try to stay in front of this spider, but see how he's catching up on me? I'm just really slow compared to most monsters. Looks like we might be able to go to Boar Beach here, too. Looks like... Teleporter. Alright, so what we're going to do is hit this. Drop this. Get away from the Colossus. I do not want him to stop me here. Two Colossuses, okay. And a chest over here with a lot of money in it. Did I botch myself? No, I can get out of here. Okay, let's use that same trick and go back. Test the coil. We're going to use the visibility for the speed boost over here. Got to make use of my double jump, too. That keeps me off the ground. That's good. Let's 
especially with all these missile guys on my ass. Get in there! Nice! Oh, that double jump is great with this character, you guys. Here's what I'm doing. I'm hitting my invincibility. Punch, punch, punch. And then when my invincibility runs out, I'm jumping out of the fray for a second. And so far, it's working brilliantly. With a syringe, I could probably get two clean volleys off. Punches. Let's do it again. Let's do another Tesla coil. I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna be able to not call that item the Tesla coil. I have to. I have to, guys. Get the bicycles in there. I guess we're going to Boar Beach. I'm gonna complete this level. I'm gonna go look for chests, and I guess we're going to Boar Beach. All right, the Colossus are starting to catch up now. Taser's doing work. Those white icons you see above in the taser. Or above the enemy's head. That's the taser. That stuns them for a moment. Let's get back behind the Colossus. Drop another Tesla coil. Use invincibility to get through the Colossus' hitbox there. Alright, I think I'm good now. Yeah, buddy! Oh, that was great. I just wrecked them all. Okay, one of them dropped a tough time. I like that. And the other one dropped the... Oh, it's a portal item. You know what? It's a good item. It's very situational, though. It's a good get-out-of-trouble item. But I think I'd rather have the attack item. We're already at impossible. But I got lots of good items. So let's go to Boar Beach. Actually, no. We gotta jump... We gotta go down and look for chests first. We gotta make a circle for chests. be a shame to go to Boar Beach now and waste all this money. There was a randomizer over to the right, I thought. Is there anything over here? Yes, there was a chest over here. So we're going to do a full circle of the level. Okay, a super double jump now with a rusty jetpack. Oh, I really, really, really wish that I had not lost the first hour of footage I recorded I had like three disastrous runs that I was getting the hang of the character and learning the abilities and stuff and for some reason OBS was just not recording. Usually when I record footage of PC games I use Bandicam. I used to use Camtasia, now I use Bandicam, but for some reason it doesn't play with Risk of Rain very nice. It puts in like a second, uh, yeah we'll take a laser drone. It puts in like a second of blackness every time the game blacks out. Like, in between menu screen transitions and stuff like that. It's it's dumb, but there it is. Alright, I'm glad I picked up that laser drone now with that arms race. So, let's talk about, a little bit about the patch. They, they, they actually patched in a bunch of stuff. A lot of changes. Uh, they, I think they updated to a newer version of Game Maker, which is the software they used to make this game. So, it's not just, like, a cleverly named piece of software. It's very descriptive of what it is. Oh, I wanted the crit glasses. Oh, I got the vial instead. That's probably okay, though. Um, so, some things have changed, and, like, ropes are a lot easier to grab now. Thank goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Clover, and we want this drone, since we've got that arms race. Yeah! Get, get, get some drone action. I very I haven't done drones in my, in my Let's Play series yet. We need 500 for the top up there. Because there's a randomizer up top. Is there anything over here? One more chest over here? A 300 chest? Nope. Um... Yeah, ropes are a lot easier to grab now. That was a big problem in the game before. I'm not sure how exactly they did it, but they did, and I'm very thankful that they did. I can hit this a couple times. Hit it one more time, and I still have enough for my... Gave me an item that I already had. Oh, I can hit this one probably twice. Oh, I can hit... Oh, another drone! Can I afford it? Can I afford it? If I can afford it after opening up this trash can, I'll take it. No, not even close. Oh, well. What is that? Oops, I pushed the wrong L button. Oh, prescriptions. No, I'd rather have the, the backup. Alright, I better take the randomizer up top here and guarantee myself an item. I would have loved to grab that drone. I would have loved to go to the next level with an arms race and three drones. 
Now instead of this attack item, what I want is the use item that repairs your drones. That would be fantastic. Um, they also broke some stuff though, unfortunately. It seems like some stuff is broken. Like, we determined that glass artifact is broken. It only gives you the 200% damage buff instead of a 500, which kind of wrecks the artifacts. I want that... What'll I get? Eh, hourglass. I saw a syringe in there, I saw a goat hoof. I'm not fast enough to pick the item I want out of there. Some people are fast. Some people that play this game are fast enough when they see the item they want, they can just grab it. I am not that fast. I usually end up just getting something random. That's why I call those a randomizer. I don't have the reflex. By the time I see the goat hoof, my brain processes seeing the goat hoof and sends the signal in my hand to push the button to get the goat hoof, it's too late. And I end up getting an hourglass. Not a terrible item for this class, though, because this is a class that can lose all his health really quickly. So in that hourglass prox, that'll give me time to double jump out, hit my invincibility, and maybe uh, escape from enemies. Especially now that I'm already in I'm coming for you difficulty. So I'm thinking this might be a successful run. I hope. Unless things really go south really quickly. Let's go to Boar Beach. And then we'll do whatever stage 3 it gives me again. Yeah, we're going to get my t-shirt down here, and maybe another item, if another scavenger or something spawns. Laser drone doing some work with explosive lasers, because I got the arms race. That's really good. See if we get a toxic beast or a scavenger to spawn and get one more item out of Boar Beach here. Whoops. I kind of got thrown there. Did I, I must have hit my L button by accident and used my grappling hook. There's the toxic beast. Tesla coil action here. A syringe would be glorious on this character. Definitely, definitely want a syringe. Increase attack speed, make it, get them punches to come out. I don't even know if you guys can hear me over the sound of all that crap that was happening right there. I would not be surprised you learned to learn you couldn't. I'll be honest. There's a scavenger. Used to be this was the best way to farm was to go into Boar Beach, but now the best way to farm is to use artifacts, so. Let's hit the teleporter so stuff stops spawning. And then we'll go down and get that scavenger. So we walked away with the predatory instincts and whatever the scavenger drops here. I the other thing they updated is the look of the mushrooms poo gas. Like for one thing, whoa. Hi scavenger. For one thing, the mushrooms no longer explode into a cloud of terrible gas um, when they die, which is beautiful. I love that. But I don't like that, like, they change what the poo gas looks like. It's more noticeable now, but I think it clashes with the graphical style of the rest of the game. You've got all these lovely little, like, kind of low-res pixel graphics, but then, uh, You've got what looks just like an MS Paint's, like, Photoshop effect. MS Paint Photoshop effect? I don't think so. That, that came out wrong. But you understand. It looks like somebody just put a spray-painted purple blob on the screen. It doesn't look pixelated anymore. I don't like it as much. So now I really want to get some, uh, crowbars. Do I have a crowbar? I don't. That'll raise my critical chance. And I got Predatory Instincts, which reduces cooldowns on crit. Then I got, uh, Hunter Scythe, which heals me on crit. I got a drone there. I probably want to buy that drone. <coughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get Boar Beach again. Alright, you know what? Let's just bail on them. You know what? My attack drones explode, too. Even if I don't get a lot of drones, my attack drones, Arms Race will work with them. Alright, I gotta find the teleport. I can't be screwing around up here. I gotta not screw around very much. All kinds of stuff on this left wall to buy. Send some fireworks out of that canister. There's another drone right there. There are lots of drones to buy here. Should I go with the items or should I go with drones? Lots of trash cans, too. Oh, I can afford this item here. You know what? I'm going to go with items. Items are the safer bet. And tons of chests over here. Beautiful. 